Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel, Croctober Day 12. And we are doing a chicken parm. So I'm using the uh, Barber Foods, the raw chicken. This is raw stuffed chicken. This is a chicken Kiev. It's filled with garlic, butter, and parsley. So I will scan these for smart points. So I've got two of those, and again, they come individually wrapped. They're two a piece. I have two packages, so four. And then I am going to throw in the one of the chicken cordon bleu, and that just has a cheese and ham, because it was the only one we had left. So I'm going to go ahead and get those into the crock pot. I've already sprayed it with nonstick cooking spray. And then I'm just gonna top with marinara and pesto and let it cook. These are frozen. So it's going to cook for a good seven hours on low because they're frozen and they're raw. So you want to make sure that they get cooked all the way through. This is what it looks like. It just is lightly breaded on the outside. Okay, on the package it tells you clearly do not microwave. So they must be cooked either in the oven and of course since we're doing them in the slow cooker, they'll cook for seven hours. They may even cook for eight hours, it just depends. But seven hours I think will be okay. To that I'm just adding in a jar of pasta sauce. This is just some marinara pasta sauce that we've had in the um, pantry cabinet. So I'm using some pantry items. There we go. And I'm just gonna shake this all around to cover everything. I wanna cover all the chicken. And the last thing I'm adding is just a little bit of the sun-dried tomato pesto uh, just the last little bits of that. Yeah, I used this when I did the uh, blush ravioli. And so I'm just going to use the rest of that. Cover it with my lid and I'll check it when I get home from school. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. So I came home from work shut off the crock pot because we had to run jackson has his allergy shots on thursday we went to taekwondo came home and i just turned the crock pot back on just to reheat the chicken parm i actually put on a couple slices of pepperoni turkey pepperoni and a half cup of the fat-free mozzarella cheese and i'll show you what it looks like as i dish this up I'm going to serve this with a side of broccoli. This is just steamed broccoli that I got from the grocery store. Then I'm also going to put in a side of spaghetti squash. Just cooked it in the microwave for about 15 minutes. Probably 12 minutes might be enough. Just depending on how done you like your squash. And then to that, I'm going to add in the chicken parm. So let's see. I actually added in some spinach as well. Ooh, uh -oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's falling off. And let me see if I can grab a little of the sauce for the Spaghetti squash. And so this is what our plate looks like. We've got the chicken breast, breaded chicken breast that we covered in the um, marinara and the pesto. And let me just say, we tasted a little bit of the sauce before we left for um, the allergy doctor. That pesto just gives something to the marinara and it just tastes really good. So we're going to have our taste tester step in and give his opinion.
good buttery and you can taste some of the squash and the spaghetti squash. Really good buttery and you can taste the squash and the spaghetti squash. I have no idea what that review means, but he really likes it. So this is it, day 12, chicken parm. Thank you so much for stopping by our channel for Croctober. We hope you enjoyed this meal. We hope you give it a try. And if you do, please leave us a comment below and let us know how you liked it. Thank you again so much. If you're new, hit the red subscribe button. We'd love to keep you as a part of our YouTube community. And until tomorrow's Crock-Pot meal, bye.